My name is Lauren Davis. I'm the Maine Dwarf Keeper here at the Greensboro Science Center. And today we did our second round of vaccines for our puppies. They got distemper vaccines today. And they are around five kigs, which is around 11 pounds. Um, there are four puppies, two girls and two boys. So Anaheim is their mother. She is a six-year-old female that we got from Pueblo Zoo in Colorado. And the puppies were born on December 11th. Um, so they're about two months old at this point. So we have Dr. Sam, our vet, and then we have our vet tech, Sam Beasley. Um, and they did a physical check on our puppies. So they checked to make sure that their teeth are developing and their eyes look good and their ears are clear um, and that they're basically on track for growth rates. Um, and then they gave them their vaccine. So we also give them some Benadryl as a cautionary uh, procedure. And then they get their distemper vaccines. They actually get two different types of distemper vaccines. They get the canine version and the feline version because Maine wolves are not technically part of the wolf family. They're a little bit of a hybrid. They are part of the canid family, but because they're a little bit weird, they seem to do best if we have a mixture of both. So the puppies are being raised by their mother, Anaheim, and because of that, we're pretty hands-off. Um, Maine wolves in general are very shy and they don't want to be around people very much. Um, so these puppies don't like us to handle them and they don't want to be around us at this point. As they get older and they realize that we come with good things like food and toys, they'll become more interested in us. But right now we're a little bit scary, um, so it's a little bit stressful for them. So we try and make sure that these sessions, the vet sessions or any time that I interact with them are pretty short and uh, the least amount of stress as possible. We um, do use leather gloves, Kevlar gloves, in order to handle the puppies because they do have a full set of puppy teeth at this point, which means they're nice and razor sharp for us. Um, so we use those gloves to protect ourselves and then it makes it a little bit easier to, to manage them, gives them a little bit more cushion. And then we'll use a towel in order to kind of wrap them up, give them a little bit of a darker space, keeps them a little bit calmer. Um, sometimes we'll also use a chew toy to give them if they're feeling really, really rowdy. Um, and we'll put that in their mouth for them to, to keep them a little bit busy so they're not so focused on our hands. So they're two months old now. They're in the process of being weaned. They'll be weaned by three months. Anaheim is doing a thing that's called regurgitating right now. So she'll eat food, chew it up for them, and then regurgitate it for them, and they'll eat whatever that is. Um, they'll be full grown about a year old. It's more about a year and three months. They're not sexually mature until they're around two years old. So they'll stay here for quite a while. Um, so this is one of the best parts of my job when I'm able to be a little bit more hands-on with the animals to make sure that everybody is healthy and doing really well. The Species Survival Program, which is um, a breeding program for animals in zoos, um, tells us who can breed and who, not, who doesn't breed. And so it's very rare to have a litter of maine wolf puppies. So this is one of the best parts of my job because it's very rare um, and very exciting.